are patterns? What are patterns? Patterns are the organizing principle through which we can understand natural phenomena. The organizing principles <coughs> used for us to organize our own activity. Oh, there's a piece of trash, gotta take care of that. So when you discern natural patterns, you're teaching yourself and you're not just teaching yourself, but you're loading your database, your mind, with interesting patterns that are there available for you to use metaphorically without you even being aware of it sometimes. Um, we've moved recently into the house that we live in now, which is more in town, more in Durham. Um, before we moved, we lived in the country on a little six acre farmette is what I used to call it, where we had horses and free range chickens and raised a hog, a bunch of dogs, and where we recently had alpacas. Um, and then we sold it as our daughters are all growing up. I grew up in the Midwest farm country. My father wasn't a farmer, but there were farms all around us and I appreciated the opportunity to do projects on the farms of my friends and so I wanted my daughters to have some sense of that as well. And here on our farm, we had goats. We had two Nubian goats. And while I always understood what a ruminant was, ruminants are those hooved animals that have two stomachs and that will ingest, which is to say, we'll eat a lot of graze, a lot of grass, a lot of brush all at once, and then later they digest. Um, later they, you know, what they first eat sets in their front stomach, and then in the case of my goats, they'll go, and they'll do that frantically. Boy, they just ingest frantically. Interesting pattern here. They ingest frantically, almost mindlessly. Um, and after doing that very aggressively for a period of time, they will then go and sit under a tree, fold their legs, not sit, lie under a tree, fold their legs underneath them, and slowly digest. So of course we know the word ruminate means to consider, to think about, to take your time considering. And that's uh, what the goats do. They ingest aggressively and digest carefully and deliberately. And that's an interesting pattern, a pattern in nature, uh, I think that has helped me understand, um, helped me understand a good way to take in information, take it in aggressively, take in a lot of information, do a deep dive into the information, and then slowly, carefully, to get the most out of it, digest it by ruminating on what it is I've just learned. And here's another interesting pattern, rather an obvious one, but not all, you know, patterns can be obvious. Um, and that is that wherever you find a golf course, and we're right here on the edge of a golf course, you're gonna find nice houses. <laughs> Isn't that an interesting pattern? Uh, so it's Saturday, two days after Thanksgiving, um, and uh, I hope you have wonderful pattern recognition weekends. And walking back, I found another pattern in nature, and that is that while this vine is rooted in the ground, it sure relies on this tree for its support. Those green leaves are all from the vine. So again, while it's 
got its own root system, it receives its own nourishment from the ground and through its own leaves the sun yeah, yet it relies on this tree to get up up in the air so that its leaves can engage in photosynthesis.